We're back to talk about castles. We're going to go ahead and talk about what's going on with the update that's coming, the limited time crafting event you don't want to miss, especially if you've already gotten into this game, because it's very important to do the beginning of this game. It will help you a lot later on, and you can start earning a passive income that is distributed at the end of the month after a snapshot just by doing some events in the hair in wax, which is fascinating. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to talk all about the limited time crafting event going on with the lumberjack and the carpenter and how it's going to work. And I'm also going to open up some packs because you know how that is. And we have a giveaway going. Thank you so much for Metasource for sponsoring this. I really do appreciate it. They have some packs, so we're going to go ahead and give one away in this video. Just go ahead and comment something nice below about the Lumberjack if you like how his hair looks or whatever about the Lumberjack. And then do me a favor, go to my Discord, the link's down below, in the room castle giveaway. Just leave your YouTube name and wallet, since we can't put wallet addresses on YouTube because they delete them. And by doing that, I'll pick a random comment from YouTube and I'll go to Discord. And if you're there, I'll go ahead and message you and get you the pack. Looks like it's gonna be a banker's pack. So make sure you do that. That's seven lands up for grabs. With all that said, let's do the same. Let's open up some packs to get started before we dive in and show you what's going on. Banker's pack, let's do this. Come on, farm, ranch, okay, farm, farm. Farm, 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 farm. Okay, one ranch, the rest farms. Not the greatest pack. Let's step it up. We're gonna open two kings packs. Let's go. Village, nice. Farm, ranch, farm, 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 town. Woo! We got a town. Four more farms, a ranch, a farm, a farm. We'll take the town. The town is the second rarest. Next would be a city, which is a 1% chance. That would be amazing if we got that. But town is awesome. We'll take it. This is going to put us close to having a castle. I think we need one more town for that. All right, let's go another king's pack. Those towns were a 2% chance. Let's do this. Farm, farm, farm. Village, farm, farm, farm. Town, ranch, farm, 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 ranch, farm. We got another town. Are you serious? I think that's going to be enough to get us a castle. Village is nice too. All right, I'm back. I did a little merging. I got a little ahead of myself and did go ahead and merge my towns into a city. So now I just need to merge these three cities to make a castle. Let's see how much M source I currently have. Let's go ahead and claim and refresh this. Ah, still don't have enough. We got a few more days. So something else we could do is mint a land because I have a Baron. We can mint a land every day. So it's going to be 95% chance farm. 4.5% chance ranch and 0.5% village. Let's go ahead and mint one. You can do seven and then you need a royal seal to fill it up. So we currently have 31, five and zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this and we'll see what we got. There we go, we did get another farm, which is probably gonna happen most of the time. We did hit the 95% and to merge the city, it is a lot. It costs 524,000 M source. We're at 183, so I think we have about four more days and then we'll be able to finally make our castle. Here's what we're getting per hour, 2,900, and the stats are looking good. So we're just gonna keep going. I know I can go ahead and merge some of the lower stuff, but I'm saving everything to get that first castle because once you have the castle, you can craft royal seals, and I'm gonna need those for this crafting event. So let's talk about the lumberjack. Here he is in all his glory he's the man <laughs> so how it's going to work is they have these limited time events and it's basically like two weeks of something and then a little bit of time off two weeks of the next part a little time off and then you kind of see how it goes and they have these events where eventually they're going to loop around 
However, you have to wait a while till that event comes back. So for example, when this event starts, this is going to be the Royal Courthouse Wonder. A wonder is something you will get a bounty from, which is kind of like a share, if you will, of a profit. Anytime someone buys something from the Royal Seal in the game, half of that money is going to be divided amongst the people that received a Royal Seal bounty. And it's given to them in wax at the end of each month a snapshot's taken. So do you understand how important it is to get in on this? <laughs> I do. So that's why I'm planning already. I should have a decent amount. These are pending dates. So this is in two weeks, March 17th. So I, I need about four or five days to finish my castle. And then I'll have a week to collect royal seals and some more M source. Lumberjacks will cost 100k M source and two royal seals. They are very expensive to refill because the idea is you're not going to be refilling them often. You're only going to need them during the event and you're only going to probably refill one. Now, is it smart to buy more than one? Sure, why not? You know, you have an extra one, you can sell it later on. And, you know, who knows? Maybe as you get more castles, you can easily afford 400 M source a week to reload them. So Lumberjack is going to produce two to three lumber per day. So this is going to be two weeks of this. So we're going to have the Lumberjack. We're going to be buying them. We're going to be producing the lumber. And after that, we go to the next portion of the event, which is the Carpenter. Now the Carpenter costs 12 lumber. So you're going to get that lumber from the Lumberjack. So if you don't craft a Lumberjack, then you're going to have to buy it on atomic hub to get the lumber or a lumberjack so you can produce this and then you would need two royal seals and then that's going to produce two to three fine wood nfts a day and then the weekly charge here is six lumber and one royal seal so again you're using lumber from your lumberjack to get this created now why are we doing all this because you're going to go ahead and then craft a royal courthouse wonder bounty and that's going to cost 25 lumber, 70 fine wood, and four royal seals. That's going to be like a share token in your NFT wallet. And if there's only, say, 10 of them, then and they split 50%, then it would be 5% each of every sale. Of course, there's probably going to be a lot more than that because there's a decent amount of people playing the game. But who knows how many people are going to be able to get to this point. I don't think it's going to be too difficult if you have a castle. If you don't, I think it might take a little longer to get to this point. But the thing is, this goes for two weeks. So after two weeks, say, just for example, we create 100 lumberjacks. 100, that's all that's there. So this will repeat again in the future. Say, I don't know when, but say a year later it repeats. When it repeats, it cannot be more than it was last time. So if it was 100 Lumberjacks the first time, the second season, or however you want to say it, is going to be 100 Lumberjacks or less are able to be crafted. And that's going to continue to carry on and go and go and go. So if you have one season where a real low amount are crafted, that's the new number. So if 30 are crafted in season two, season three, only 30 can be crafted. So I hope you see how the scarcity in this game works and I like the ideas of it. I feel like this is something that's different than everything else, which is really cool. Let me know what you think about castles down below. Are you going to be trying to get the wonder? Because it's not only that, they also do have prizes. Based on these numbers, it'll take 1.5 weeks from earnings with Lumberjack and three carpenters to craft one royal courthouse wonder bounty that does make it difficult not real difficult but it makes it difficult to get more than one i should say but also for participating in a limited time event per a craft you will earn a prize ticket at the end of the event we'll hold a raffle for prizes such as barons packs and more you know how important it is to win a baron that'd be awesome they're they're great they were going for 250 dollars when they had them the huge amount of supply is gone on the Barons. Now they do 64 a month for this year. And also, if they do give any away, that is subtracted from that amount. So they are very finite with their numbers, and I really think that's a good idea. And I think 
some games overlook that and go a little further. You can't do that. You got to stick with those numbers and it'll do so good for the game because it's more limited. So that's the castle limited time event. How are you going to do? Are you going to go for a Royal Seal Wonder bounty? I'm definitely going to go for at least one. I'd like to go for two, but I don't think I'd be able to afford it unless the dates change. These dates are targeted, but there is a chance they could change. So if they are pushed back a week or two, that would give me much more time to save up. And then I could definitely go for more. So we'll kind of see how it is. But either way, I'm very excited for this game. I hope you got your packs when they went on sale. And I will see you around the moat. Don't forget to comment down below about the Lumberjack and go to the Discord and fill that out. Thank you so much for the view.